Hello and welcome to another lecture on building science. And so today we are going to be talking about heat transfer. And heat transfer is something that goes on whether uh, it's cold outside or warm outside. Uh, we have heat transfer and especially dealing with residential and commercial construction. So a very general uh, description or definition of heat transfer is it describes the exchange of thermal energy. Uh, between physical systems depending on temperature and pressure by dissipating heat. So that seems like a, a fancy definition. So we go from hot air to cold and that is our heat transfer from one object to another. So with our houses, uh, especially in let's say the winter time, we have heat transfer that goes, you know, our, the heat inside of our house is trying to get to the colder air. Okay, those molecules are trying to pass through our wall cavity uh, and to get through the outside. And so uh, with houses, uh, with just basic heat transfer in general, we have three avenues of uh, transfer there. And so those three avenues are conduction, convection, and radiation. And so we wanna talk about all three of these and uh, I'm gonna flash a few pictures up on the screen just so you can get a visual of, uh, of this type of heat transfer and how that occurs and how that goes on. So the first one is conduction, uh, and you can see by uh, the picture there with conduction, it's basically like if you put a rod in a fireplace or if you put a, you know, grab onto a hot pan on a stove, you have conduction that travels uh, up through that surface, up through that, uh, that particular object. So the real definition of conduction is the transfer of heat from one substance to another by direct contact. And so this is that rod in the fireplace or grabbing the, the hot grabbing the hot pan on the stove uh, that I was talking about. And with this picture, you can see how heat just kind of transfers up through that particular material. And so our next one is convection. Uh, convection is the transfer of heat through a fluid, whether it be liquid or gas. And so convection, uh, very similar, you can uh, go back to our convection ovens that are in our kitchen. Uh, convection ovens work on the uh, the heat and the circulation of heat through air and so that is what our conduct or our convection ovens are from and that's sort of convec convection. So that is coming up and in, in very similar to the, the picture of the fireplace where uh, I have that heat that is uh, just through the air coming up through and you know if you've ever been outside in the uh, in the outside burning leaves or brush or whatnot and you happen to have some trees close by and you get this big fire going and if you're like me I like to uh, I like to light up some brush fires and, and get the, I'm a pyromaniac I guess but so if we get all this fire going you'll notice if you look up into the into the trees you see the leaves just really blowing and flowing and that's what that is that's the the convection that's the heat that is just kind of blowing up through the air and and just transferring uh, from the fireplace up into uh, the atmosphere and so that is convection and then our, our third source or our third way of uh, transfer is radiation and so radiation is is basically heat energy that is transferred through air so again this is not the blowing of the convection but just transferred through the air and the best example I can give you of this is our Sun uh, and so our Sun gives off that radiation and it radiates the heat through the air uh, onto our skin now what I'd like to do is to, to talk about this with um, hopefully I'm going to throw a picture up on screen on this as well but when we're dealing with the actual uh, heat transfer through our house. Okay, so we take the heat from the sun and it is transferred to our roof deck through radiation. Okay, so heat comes through the atmosphere and hits our shingles in the form of radiation. Well now, the heat is transferred through our shingles and our sub decking on the roof uh, through the means of conduction okay and so that is coming through our roof through conduction through the material and then getting into our attic space okay well now we switch from conduction back to radiation okay so radiation now comes through uh, the atmosphere in our attic and lands on our equipment it lands on our ductwork 
um, in the form of radiation uh, and it, it collects on there. So you can see how we can have just a few different ways of heat transfer just through um, the products in our house and, and how it gets from the sun through our roof system and, and onto our insulation and equipment that's in our attic. And so we can see how two ways of heat transfer goes on there. So just with conclusion, uh, heat seeks equilibrium and always moves from hot to cold. So again, we mentioned in our winter time, we go from our warm air uh, to the cold. So it's constantly trying to get out of our house and, um, and both that and then in the summertime, there's warm, moist air from the outside trying to get in. And so that's why we want to air seal our house. And that's a whole nother uh, lecture on air sealing, but um, you can see how warm air tries to go uh, to the colder air. So, and then also our final points here, uh, heat moves in and out of a building through conduction, convection, and radiation. So that kind of just does a quick summary of heat transfer. And I hope through maybe some pictures and just through some description that uh, maybe that helped try to, um, uh, you know, make that point come a little bit closer and and not make, um, not make everything just seem really alienated out there. And I know that, you know, there are times things may seem uh, like, you know, maybe it's uh, kind of foreign or maybe from another planet than some of the stuff that we talk about, but I assure you it's not. And so um, with that, we're going to close. And thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time as we do another edition of Building Science. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.